Hello coach, hello uh, fellow YouTube viewers. Today was a uh, top set of 325 for a single and then uh, after that we did 275 for four sets of three. Felt a little like I should have been pulling from the hips a little bit more, but here's my 325 for a single. Felt a little bit like too much lower back, but felt easy as hell. That's for sure. And it was too soft of a lockout. Not a great lockout. Uh, it felt good at the time, I thought, but now looking at it, it just kind of fizzled out. It wasn't wasn't the best lockout. Okay. Uh, I really should have drove the hips through more, but um, down to 275 for four sets of three, and these all moved so well. I would have been doing them faster, except the woman behind me was testing out her, uh, she was doing a, a mock meet today, so I didn't want to be in front of her when she was squatting, so she'd look at my big ass, um, just didn't want her to have any distractions. So I would have taken a little bit, um, a lot shorter rest periods actually but these all moved extremely well it felt really really good and the belt is man that that belt is just awesome man it's from uh, general leathercraft and it's just a really thin belt but it is tough as nails and when you crank that baby on you feel like you're getting ready to explode so that's all I have to say about the deadlift, and I'll wait until the next uh, main lift, which is the competition, which is the close grip bench press for 5x5 five five with 100. Okay, so an easy little warm-up here. Uh, you see, John, I spray the floor with uh, with some of the cleaning materials in the bottle, you know, that they have then the bottles that they have laying around so my feet will stick. This floor is just dusty and you can't get any damn traction. And um, but once I spray it, I get really good traction. Now here, I'm only taking like 10 seconds rest in between each one of these sets because it's 100 pounds and um, it's just really easy breezy. I'm not losing any breath. I'm just ripping right through these, and it feels pretty darn good. Got to tell you, uh, it ought to for 100. Can't wait till I get that 325 bench back and, and crush the hell out of that. But all in due time, right? So no more comment on the bench. And I'll wait until the next. Uh, main lift.
Okay, so for the overhead press, I'm still fiddling around with my with my grip width. Today it just wasn't feeling completely spot on, but the um, but the drive off the chest felt really good today. I did an extra set because I lost count of how many sets I was doing, but I have lowered the barbell way down, so I'm starting with it right off my chest, off you know as soon as I unrack it. Before I used to, the barbell was up too high. I like to uh, to get my chest right under the barbell and and stand up. Uh, and unrack it with my hips. See right there, I unrack it with my hips. And my stance is feeling pretty good. Still, like I said, the grip width was feeling a little, yeah, it just doesn't feel really great. But the weight itself felt really, really good. And I'm only waiting until I catch my breath here before I go for the next one. And um, trying to just keep those shoulders fatigued, but not go, but not wait um but not you know but wait long enough so i so i feel recovered but the overhead press is feeling really good um i'm feeling like i could you know like i could have a, a definitely uh do do uh, a set a set of three to five with 135 if i had my wrist wraps on so i'm not feeling so bad about the overhead press and i'm going to just leave it there until the next event, which will be the body weight chin ups. Okay, so I've switched to the blue band, which is the next uh, band down, which is not as stretchy as the red band. And I'm really trying to get that damn chin up to that bar and holding the uh, and holding the last rep for as long as I can. Um, I should probably hold it until I just completely give out, but I've, but I've made sure to take a longer rest period in between sets. I was probably waiting two and a half minutes in between sets just so I could really get the most out of each one and I edited one out here I edited a set out but I definitely did my five by five for it because I really like these and I don't know what the hell sometimes I uh, in the you know the editing is it tricks me up and and uh, and I forget a set here or there and then instead of undoing everything and going backtracking uh, I kind of get the point here that the pull-ups are going a lot better now for the skull crushers, this is a three by eight foot with 95 pounds. Uh, this was a, a challenge for me. I want to be able to rock these out until they're easy breezy. So I'm going to keep 95 pounds on the barbell until I just move these like butter. Um, I'm still moving my shoulder or still moving my, my elbows a little bit forward to get better leverage on it. See, I want my... Uh, I want my elbows right there when I press up. I don't want my elbows sliding forward so I can get better leverage like they do right there. See that? They move forward a little bit. So 95 is the right is the right weight for me uh, for the skull crushers. And I really like these because I these absolutely do benefit my bench. And, and I know that they do. So I want to get a nice big skull crusher uh, weight going here. I'd like to be doing 135 pounds by uh, by the beginning of the year on these skull crushers. That'll be pushing me pushing me back to my old bench if I can get uh, these skull crushers going again. And really, that's about it for the skull crushers. I don't really have that much more to say. Um, definitely waiting until I'm fully recovered. And this last set, the last rep was a doozy for me but the six this the the six reps were good the seventh was a little shoddy but the eighth was i was really feeling the eighth rep on this one i 
think this one is the last one here. Yep, there we go. Almost missed it, but I had to push on through. And that was nice. Okay. Oh, this guy fuck here. This guy. Yeah. Yeah. That guy. <laughs> <laughs> Good guy there. All right. Time for these sprints. Time to get them on. Didn't beat. Uh, let's see. This one is 18 seconds. Then the next one's 16. And then the next one's 18. And I think it's like 16, 18, 16, 18, alternating. But the last one. I uh, dug super deep, and I didn't take any longer of a rest period, but I got it to 13.47 seconds, which makes me feel guilty that I wasn't putting out for all the other ones, even though I felt like I did. But it's always that last one where, where I get fired up. I, I need to fire up on every single one of them, even though I felt like I was. So maybe it's the way I, maybe it's the speed at which I, I turn the prowler down at the end i'm not sure but adam was a good guy to, to time my last one and uh mother lovers got to get out the way because your boy's getting ready for the ninth lift yep move it pops i got you there you go step out of daddy's way <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm just kidding but yeah get the fuck out the way okay so this last uh no this is the second to last one but the last, the last one felt really, really, really good. This one was like feet are flopping and flying all over the damn place. See that little kick move there? That was just ridiculous. But let's have a good time. We got Adam to uh, time me on this one. And let's see, 48. At the 48 second mark to the, that's 10, 11, 12. So actually it's 12 seconds. So all right. But he timed me at 13 seconds, 13.47 seconds. So I'll take that one and see, uh, that's the end of this round here. And thanks again for the great programming, Coach John. And I will talk to you soon, brother.